Well, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And uh, as we tell you every every time, you know, uh, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Yes. Just like we're going to have a fellowship afterwards, and I'm preparing myself already to receive. But I want some spiritual food Amen. now. Amen. <laughs> we got to feed our spirit, man. Yeah, <laughs> You've heard this many times, but we're a tribe being. We're spirit. We have a soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Right. And we have this flesh body. <laughs> and we got to feed it. Amen. But we also have to feed our spirit. And the Bible says, your soul, your mind, you have to renew on a daily basis. Amen. Why? Because we go around uh, this world. And we go around bad news, sad news. And we go around people. Uh -huh. And guess what? It attaches itself to you. So we got to give ourselves a spiritual bath daily. All the time. Because we got to get the filth off of us. Yes. Amen. We can bring the good news, but they're bringing the bad news. Uh -huh. Amen. So let's not hold back on the good news. Amen. So Amen. Lord, we just want you to know, uh, welcome all our, all those of, of you that are joining us by audio video. We want to welcome you. And you know what? I'm going to repeat a message that I've spoken before, but uh, somebody needs this. Amen. I mean, I need it myself. I preach it to myself all the time. But uh, somebody out there, you know who you are as soon as you hear this. Amen. And we're going, to, we're going to be talking about blooming. You know, blooming. I've got a sign up here, or whatever you call this. It says, bloom where you're planted. Yeah. You know, wherever you're planted, yeah. we got to bloom. Amen? Amen. Amen. I haven't seen anything that, that, that grows that doesn't bloom. Mm -hmm. So we need to bloom wherever God sets us. Amen? Yes. And before I get too far away, let's uh, grab your Bible, grab yes. your sword, some of your God. Warrior, <laughs> warrior, <laughs> warrior for warrior, God, amen. Warrior. Remember, you're a warrior for God, amen. amen. Grab your swords, warriors, grab your swords, amen. And say it like you mean it, amen. Let me read it for you. I've got, I like this one. Uh -huh. It says, I am the Bible. I, this is my Bible. Uh -huh. I, I am what says I am. I have what says I am. I can do what says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the Word of God. Boldly confess, mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I, listen, I am, I have, I can do. Today, I boldly confess, and my spirit is receptive. Amen. To, to hear the things of God. Amen. To be taught the word of God. Amen. Because we're growing and going for Him on a daily basis. So praise God. Woo! That was glory, awesome. Glory, Bless glory. me. I got those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching. I want got a, I've got a couple of uh, scripture breaks that uh, that I want to read to you, okay. and I put this uh, on uh, Facebook, and some of you uh, joined me there already. So, thank you so much. But it's a scripture break. You know, we take breaks all day long. We take uh, uh, lunch breaks. We take um, uh, breakfast breaks. We take uh, uh, coffee breaks. We take smoke breaks. We take. Uh, all kind of breaks. Well, why not have a scripture break? Amen. 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 That's right. Whatever, whatever breaks you take, think, well, I don't do none of them things. Well, then um, take a scripture break. Go yeah. open your Bible and read it. Yeah. And, you know, the Bible says to study to show yourself to prove unto God. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we're growing. The more we're maturing in the things of God, you know. We got some children in here, you know. These children started off with milk. We started off with milk of the Word. Mm -hmm. And now we're going into... I mean, getting get into the, the yes. meaty part, amen? amen. You know, we we got to eat it. Yes. So praise God. Listen to this. And I want you to grab it. Don't say, well, that was good for him. Or that was good for her. I want you to say, this is good for me. Right. Okay? Right. This is for me. Yeah. Stir God. up. Stir up yourself. Stir yourself up and up out of the mess, the junk. Don't let the world and people mess stick to you. Mm -hmm. Don't let the bad news of the world bring you down. Give yourself a raise this new year and daily. Rise to the expectations God has for you okay. and start reaching higher. As Isaiah 40 and 31 says, says, soar with the eagles above your mess, above your junk, above your problems, above your anxieties, oh, above boy. your cares, whatever it happens to be. Yeah. Amen. It says, know your limits, then ignore them. God makes you to be an original. Quit trying to be a copy uh -huh. Be the original God yeah. made you to be. Yeah. I don't have to copy nobody else. I can be the original God made me to be. Yeah. If that's not good enough for you, it's too bad. 
Because I'm trying to be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Amen. 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 So be the original God made you to be. I don't want to go around thinking that you're somebody else or, or something else. No, I want to be what God made me to be. Big or small, it doesn't matter. You know, this physical body has lots of parts. Some are big, some are small, some are in, some yeah. are out. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to be the best part. He wants me to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. So praise God and, and participate. Yeah. <laughs> participate. Be a participator, not a spectator. Hey, well, I'm just going to slide out. I'm just yeah. going to hang out. I'm just going to lay back. You know, no. Get involved. Amen. Say, yes. Lord, I want to be the best I can be for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, when I was in the world, I was being the best I could for the world. Yeah. Amen. I was just showing off. I said, man, I can do this real good. But now when it comes to Christ, you know, I say, well, I'm not good enough. I'm so shy. I'm so timid. I'm quiet as a mouse in church. I don't say nothing. Well, that was not for me. Uh, come on, you <laughs> Since God made you the original, don't be a cop. Don't die a copy. That's right. You don't go all your life and not be what God made you to be. And one day you stand before him and he'll say, why didn't you do what I told you to do? Why didn't you? Why? You know, I said, well, I never knew. Well, you never asked. Yes. That's all it takes is asking. And we're going to get that into the Word in a few minutes. And a little more into that. You can do it. Don't give up. Don't quit. Mm -hmm. God didn't make you to quit. That's it. Amen. He made you to press on. Yes, Amen. Is. With Jesus as soldiers for Jesus, we're going to press on. Yes. And we're going to take what the enemy is trying to take. Uh -huh. Amen. Glory. Philippians 4, 4, chapter 4, verse 13. Everybody knows this, but he says, I. Remember what the I is? Yes. Personalize it. Uh -huh. Scratch the I, put your name there. Okay? Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You need strength? Go to him. He'll give you the strength. Amen? Yes. Yes. And that's just one scripture. It says, don't let any, anybody or somebody tell you that you can't do. Yeah. When the Bible says, You've got what it takes. Yeah. But it will take everything you've got. Oh. Amen. Lord, I'm giving you everything. When you surrender, you give it all. Yes. And you commit right. to him. Yes. And say, Lord, I'm, I'm going to give it all to you and I'm going to commit to you. Right. You know, Jesus committed himself to the Father and says, I'm going. I'm giving my life. I'm going to press on. I'm going to fulfill what you call me to be. And he did. And he never stopped. Mm -hmm. And you know, every time he needed the Father's strength, he went. And prayed. Yeah. And asked the Lord, he said, Father, I need your strength. Yes. You know they're going to crucify me? You know they're going to kill me? But you know what? When he went to the cross, first they welcomed him as the king. A week later, they crucified him. And they, yeah. and they got Jesus and they got Barabbas. And, and they asked the, the, the people, who do you want me to release? Who do you want to release? Well, Barabbas, the murderer, the killer. Instead of Jesus. And he went to the cross. And before he gave himself, to, they beat him bad. They yes. put stripes on his back. And they couldn't kill him. Yes. The Bible says <laughs> he's unknown. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't tell. It was bad. Yeah. Boy, it was worse than uh, what Hollywood puts out. Oh, yeah. But yet, when he was there crucified, <laughs> he told the Father, forgive him. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hold this against him. Forgive him. Yeah. So praise God. Guess what? So you haven't even gone through what he went through. That's right. And we're to forgive. And we're to yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. Amen. We're to love, not hate. Yes. So don't let nobody, or don't let anyone tell you that you can't do. Yeah. <laughs> because you can't do all things through Christ. Right. Say, well, hey, I'm just going to stop right there because ain't no need to pursue if I can't do anything. Huh. Well, that's not what the Word says. The truth says the Word is the truth. And the truth is going to set you free yes. from mindsets. It's going to set you free from what people have been saying. Yes. Right. That's not true. Well, I'm going to believe if I have to stand by myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, going to, I'm standing with, I'm not by myself. I'm standing on His Word. Yes. He's with me. I'm with Him. He said He never leaves us nor forsakes us. Yeah. Expect more for yourself daily in this new year. Press on. No looking back. Let go and let God. Let him lead. Let him guide. Let him provide. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. But we have to do that. And what do we have to do? You see what says up, the sign says uh -huh. up here? It says, step out in faith. Yes. Yes. When you feed on the word, it builds your faith. And you're going to step out in faith. You know, <laughs> might be a drop here, whatever. You know, when Moses and, 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 and the children of God got to the Red Sea, Moses, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. He turned to God. Mm -hmm. 
And God gives what God did. <laughs> he, he opened the sea. Yes. And they walk through. Yeah. That's faith. Step, step, step. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We haven't even started. This is just a nugget here. <laughs> Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your spirit. Yes. Amen. Trust Him. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will yes. direct your path. Yes. yes. Amen. So praise God. He's going to be there for us. Woo! That's a good one. Yes. That's, a, that's, that's a good scripture right there. Here's another one for you. It says, stay plugged in. Stay connected to Jesus. Troubles yes. come to everybody or everyone. Yet Jesus is the source of all that you need. Amen. Amen. He says he supplies all your needs. Yes, when does. fears come, cares come, anxieties come, yes. worries come, doubts come, or whatever you want to put in uh -huh. there. When, uh -huh. when it comes, <laughs> yes. he's going to be there. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> start to pull down. They start to pull you down. You've lost connection. Yeah. You've been unplugged. Right. Say something's wrong. I don't feel the power. I don't feel Jesus. Guess what? <laughs> You're unplugged. You went out in the world and you got disconnected. Yeah. <laughs> you disconnected yourself. So what yeah. do I got to do? I got to stay plugged in. Yeah. Praise God. Thank God for Amen. the uh, praise and worship team. They played some awesome music. Amen. But guess what? They got some instruments <laughs> and they got to hook them in. They got to hook them up and plug them in. If yeah. they don't. It don't sound good. You know, there's a keyboard here. It don't sound good without the uh, without the power. That's it. Without the source. That's right. This guitar over here, electric guitar over here, it don't sound so good without the power. Uh -huh. You know what? We need His power. Amen. Yes, we do. We need His power to go. Lord. And we we have to stay connected. Yes, we do. We gotta stay connected. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo. Your strength is what Jesus. You know, power tools are great, but guess what? Without power, they don't fit. They're useless. <laughs> so praise God. Plug back into the source of Jesus. Yes. The source of faith, the source of uh, love, the source of forgiveness, yes. health, yes. patience, peace, hope. Yes. The source of all that you need. Stay connected to Jesus. Yes. Stay close to your source. Best thing to do is this year and daily stay connected yes. to the right. power right. stay yes. connected to the source yes. amen yeah. he's going to see you through that's right. amen. Yeah. when there seems to be no hope there yeah. is a way oh he, the bible says he is the way yes. the truth yes. and the oh life nobody yeah. goes to the father except through him amen, amen. so that's when right. you're walking with jesus guess what you're in good company yes. <laughs> yeah. praise god amen you, that was just a few uh Scripture words, scripture, scripture nuggets. Glory. Amen. So now we're going to get into the word here a little yeah. bit. Amen. So praise God. I already showed you my sign here. It says, Bloom where you're planted. Uh -huh. And if you're not a child of God, <laughs> if you haven't accepted Christ, you know, now's the time. You're yeah. listening. And He's talking to you. Amen. You listen, whether uh, audio or video, it doesn't matter. You're listening. It's time for you to come home. Yes. Just like the prodigal son. It's time for you to yes. come back home. Yes. I say, well, you don't know what I've done. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You bring it to him. Give yes. it to him. Yes. Say, confess it. He already knows it. He's just yes. waiting for you to confess. Yes. Yes. Say, hey, Lord, I've done you wrong. Yes. Forgive me. I repent. I've sinned yes. against you. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Let's go 2021 with Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And guiding, providing for us. Amen. Amen. Leading the way. Thank you, Lord. So blue for Jesus in 2021. Remember, yes. I, I gave you this last week and uh, I want to give it to you again. Growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. Growing, maturing, and glowing in the Word. Man, I'm full of glow, man. And going. We got to go. We got to step out. You know, he told his disciples to go into all the world. Yeah. Wherever your world happens to be, yeah. whatever neighborhood you're at. You know, right now we're in Marpa. Yes. <laughs> well, praise God, wherever you happen to be, says you can go for Jesus. Yes. Amen. You can go and uh, grow, glow, and go for Jesus. Amen. Yes. So move where you're planted. That means God puts you where he wants you. Yes. Yes, he does. You know, if you don't have relationship, you know what Christianity is all about? Huh. It's about relationship yes you know we some of us have spouses we don't know our spouse but 
through relationship, we get to know yes. each other. Yes. Amen. We get to know one another. With relationship with him, we get to know him. Yes. Amen. 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 And we get to know what we can do. The yes. Bible says you can do all things all through Christ. Right. Amen. So I'm equipping myself. He wants to be to be equipped and fulfill what he's called me to be. Amen. Um, somewhere here, let me see. I'm getting ahead of myself, but um, um, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. He qualifies the call. He's called to you, and he's qualified to. Quit waiting for the world to say, oh, you're good enough. No, God says you're good enough. He's already qualified to you. The world says, you know what? You're not good enough for this. You're not good enough for that. You're no good. We, don't, we can't use you. God says, I'll take you. Yes. I'll take you. I'll take you. <laughs> I'll take you. <laughs> so praise God. So yeah. see yourself. You go catch yourself. Somewhere in here is you. Yeah. And you're a child of God. You accepted him. You're a child of God. Don't call, don't go around calling yourself a sinner anymore. Uh -huh. Because the Bible said he's our heavenly father. Yes. And if you have a father, you're a child. Yes. So he's we're his children. Yes, yes we so, are. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Glory, glory. Since you begin, since you got born again, you're a child of God now. Amen. Yes. Okay? So don't go around calling yourself a sinner. That's right. You know, That's right. That's right. You know sin is going to come and you might sin, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. confess it. Get it yes. out. Preach it. Amen. Get confess it. it. Get it out. That's right. Amen. Don't leave it. Amen. Hallelujah. Be happy where you are. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get in here in the. Flowers, trees, cactus, plants, whatever you want. They grow and bloom where God plants them. Oh, yeah. They don't complain. Mm -hmm. They don't complain. We go around and pull them. <laughs> <laughs> or we go around and do something to them. But they don't complain. Mm -hmm. They just bloom yes. wherever you plant them. That's it. Amen. And uh, they, 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 they don't complain. They live. They bloom. And they live beautifully they bloom beautifully amen you ever seen a uh, whole uh, countryside with uh, uh, blue bonnets yes. it's beautiful yes. flowers are beautiful even the weeds even weeds have beautiful yes. flowers <laughs> too bad I go around chop them off you know but <laughs> I want to tell you some of you might know this man but uh, Bob Ross Robert Norman Ross an American painter, art instructor, television host, creator, and host of uh, The Joy of Painting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the U.S., Canada, uh, Latin America, and Europe. It was pleasant to watch him, and I still watch him. And uh, he's gone now, but still, I watch some of his videos, and he's so pleasant to listen to. He's, his voice is just so, so mellow. But he's always painting countrysides, and he's always s skies. And he's always talking about this uh, happy, uh, little happy, happy little uh, uh, cloud lives here, you know. <laughs> this happy little bush, this happy little tree lives here. And, and, and he's always making it that way. They're happy. Yeah. We need to see ourselves that way. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. He's pleasant right. to listen to. Yeah. And he's talking about his little happy clouds and his little happy trees and plants and bushes. He says they live here. Amen. Uh -huh. And he always closes with uh Happy painting, you know, have a good day. And he says, God bless. That's awesome. Amen. Amen. But I'm talking about his plants and little trees and little clouds. And these things that he's always talking about blooming. No matter what the happenings, mm -hmm. no matter what the circumstances, uh -huh. no matter what the surroundings. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Bloom where God puts you. The yes, Bible man. says in, in uh, uh, Psalms 118, 24. Yes. This is the day, the, day. the yes. Lord has made. It says, I, remember? Yes. Put your name there. Uh -huh. Scratch it. I will rejoice I and will be rejoice glad in it. Okay, but you know, it's, it's, it's Monday. Yeah. You know? And it's Tuesday. And it's Wednesday. And it's Friday. Uh, Thursday. Until Friday, we recognize God and says, oh, oh yeah. thank God it's Friday. <laughs> the weekend's here. Praise God. All the rest of the days. Forget it. Well, it's snowing outside, it's too hot outside. Oh, always circumstances, right. always situations, you know. It's like, uh -huh. no, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your first miracle was you opened your eyes yes. and you woke yes. up. Yes. Said God woke you up. Yes. Praise the Lord. So praise God. And this is the day the Lord has made. I will, I will, I will. rejoice and be glad in it. 
Amen. This translation says, uh, the New Living Version says, This is the day the Lord has made, and let us all be full of joy uh -huh. and be glad in it. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another day to serve you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you for giving me another day to serve your people. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Another day to be a servant of God. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Just remember this, okay? You're not just, well, I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still. Praise your brother. Thank you, Lord. Nehemiah 8.10 says what? The joy of the Lord is my strength. strength. You need some yes. strength? Put some joy on. Put a smile yes. on. Give your frown a break. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Let me see. I've, I've got it here somewhere. Um, uh, where is it? Oh, smiles attract. Yes. Frowns distract. No, boy. So which one do you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put a smile on your face. Yes. You know, people are going to be curious. They're going to come and ask you, why are you always smiling? Yeah. Yeah. Because Jesus is my Amen. You asked me, so I told you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you don't like me saying Jesus, then Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll say it again and again. Yeah, matter of fact, right. Jesus is my uh, baby brother. Oh, that's yeah. Jesus. That's me. My, my baby brother is Jesus. <laughs> it's Jesus. <laughs> anyway, smiles attract. Yes. You know, you go to a store, <laughs> you go anywhere when you walk out of these four walls, uh -huh. and there you, don't, you don't see too many smiles. Oh, no. There's a lot of frowns everywhere you go. Mm. Amen. So be led of God yes. because you can be a blessing. Yes. yes, you could be a blessing because God can say, "Say this to them," and He's going to tell yes. you, "Say something nice, something kind." Yes, tell them I love them. Yes, and that'll put mm -hmm. a smile on their face. Yes, yes, they're yes. waiting to hear. Yes, Amen. they are. Woo. I jumped. Man, I, ju I really jumped there. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The Apostle Paul, listen to this. The Apostle Paul was in prison most of his life. He was a well-educated man. Yes, he was. Amen. But he was Saul, and he was going around as a, 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 a Christian. Killer. Killing people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and God got his attention. Yes, knocked him off his horse. Yes, right. <laughs> and he got up. No, he says, hey, Lord, is that you? <laughs> That's Jose's paraphrase. <laughs> and he said he blinded. He was blinded. Yes. Amen. Till he told the man of God to go pray for him. Mm -hmm. And he says, Are you kidding me? You want me to go lay hands on him? Do you know what he's doing? He's going around killing people. Mm -hmm. He said, Because you said it, I'll go. Yes. Yeah. And he went and laid hands on him, and the scales come off. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he sees the way God sees. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. Amen. We yeah. need to take the blinders off yeah. and see people. Yeah. All right. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. See people the way God sees them. Yeah. God did not create junk. That's Man. right. That's right. God did not create junk. You know, yeah. up until the time Jesus comes back, some will never accept him. Mm -hmm. But it's a yeah. free choice. Yes, salvation yes. is free. Yeah. And it's up to you to receive the free gift of salvation. Yeah. Yeah. He went to the cross so you won't have to go right. to the cross. Right. So you don't have to go and crucify yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. He went to the cross, got crucified for us. Yes. And gave us a free gift of salvation. Yes, he did. And we need to receive and confess with your mouth. Yes. Not your mama, not your papa, yes. not nobody else. <laughs> That's it. That's right. But you confess with your mouth, receive mm -hmm. him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know, he wants to be your Lord. Amen. He yes. wants to be your He is. Praise Let him be yes. your Savior. Yes. Amen. Sure. So, bloom for God. Yeah. <laughs> well, we talk about the Apostle Paul. Educated man. Went around. God got his attention. Knocked them down. And guess what? A very educated man spent most of his life in prison. Mm -hmm. But remember, the prison never had him. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. A well-educated right. man, full of God, content. You know, content. He's happy. He's pleased. He's comfortable. And he's relaxed. Yes. And he wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Yes, he did. While in prison. Yep. So he was not sad. He was not complaining. Uh -uh. Amen. So. Hallelujah. Lord, 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 Lord. Whatever you're going through. Yes. Yes. If you're full of God, you can go through it. Yes. yes. No matter That's what, right. go through the valley or the yes. shadow of death. He says, yes. God is with me. Yes. He'll see me through. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. So Amen. We, need, we need to know this. <laughs> Thank you. 
We need to magnify our God more than we magnify our yes. problems. Absolutely. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Magnify Amen. Him more than you magnify the problems. Because you know, yes. and be careful who you hear and who, what you listen. Because yes. a lot of times we vent out and we say things to people that are not qualified to speak to you yep. or say things to you. And you go and vent yourself to somebody that's got worse problems than you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not going to help you. All they're going to say right. is, man, i got worse problems than you do. Yeah. Why are you telling me this? I don't want to hear this. You know, God yeah. will bring the right people yes. to cross your path. Yes, God will send you to the right person to share with. Yes. And then, or you know, you go to him, he'll tell you what to do. Yes, <laughs> he called to you. He knows you. He knows He knows you better than you know yourself. Uh -huh. Absolutely right. Yes. You know, praise God. Come on. The body of Christ, <laughs> us, the church, are believers, not denominations. Right. We are the church. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God's church is believers who have confessed Jesus as Lord and Savior. Believers Amen. should be the most yes. happiest, cheerful happiest people, people on Lord. earth. Yes. Absolutely. Hallelujah. <laughs> but we're not. That's right. Why? Because hey, you can be a defeated Christian. Uh -huh. How? By accepting all the negative things of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you don't have to. Nope. Renew your mind. Yeah. That's not for me. That's not my God. Right. Says we're not we're in the world, but now we're, we're not, not of the world. We're right. passing through. Right. <laughs> we're just passengers passing through, going by. He's our source. Yes. Yeah. He's our God. And Lord, I need you. Amen. He's going to see us through. He's going to see us through. That's just right. like He opened Amen. the Red Sea. Yes. You know, He's going to open that day for you on a daily basis. <laughs> When you spend time with him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's going to see you through. And you're going to walk through. And you're going to go through. And he's going to guide and provide for you. The rest yeah. of the day. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yeah. I'm Amen. preaching baby. Amen. 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 Well, I already read you this. But it says. Uh, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Yes. Amen. Praise God. You know. Paul or Saul was an educated man. But he went around doing the wrong way. Yes, yes. God says, this is how I want you to do it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. First Corinthians 12 and 18. Listen, you need to you grasp this. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18. But now God, who are we talking about? God has set the members, each one of them in the body, okay. as he is pleased. Yes. He has placed you where he wants yes, you. Yes, yes. Amen. And we listen to our friends, we listen to people, uh -huh. and where they're at, and what education they've gone through, uh -huh. what they've qualified for, uh -huh. and we compare instead of uh, accepting what God has for us. Yeah. We're, not, we're, we're not to compare, we're to compete, I mean, uh, complete, complete. complete one another. Amen. Amen. We complete one another as a yeah. body. Coming together, we complete one another. You have something I, I need, and I have something that you need, and together we're the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And we complete one another, and we work together in unity. But since God has said every member where He wants them, yes. So if you if you if you're not happy, then you go to Him and let Him know. Let Him give you His peace. You know, because the world's always trying to give you their anxieties, their cares, their problems. But don't take them. And you know what? When you go, when you spend time with Him and you go out into the world, don't let the world, don't let nobody steal your peace. You, you bring them into your peace. Amen? And you share with them. So this is what I wrote. Any complaints, go to God. You don't, don't know you're calling? Go to God. Yes. <laughs> don't know your place in uh, uh, go to God mm -hmm. yes. you don't know anything go to God yes. Yes. Amen. That's right. <clears throat> and I wrote this it's hell out there without God oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. if you don't know by now it's hell out there mm -hmm. without God yeah. without Jesus Amen. Mm -hmm. so uh, when you have peace in you and you have him in your heart you can do all things through Christ. All things. And you have peace, the peace of God. Yes. Amen. So he's with you. Blooming for Jesus, 2021. Many people live negative and discouraged because they don't like where they are. 
And like I said, you get around with the world, you get around with negative people, and you hear all these things, and you start feeding on it. Oh. And next thing you know is, you're unhappy. Mm -hmm. You're unsatisfied. And you start acting like the world. Uh -huh. Amen? So we need to feed ourselves with the Word of God yeah. and have peace with where He's placed us. Yeah. Amen? Amen? They don't like their jobs. They don't like their careers. They spend uh, time being hateful, being upset, and complaining. Many retire from jobs they hate. Uh -huh. You know? I retired from the military, but I, I loved it. <laughs> it. It blessed me. And that's where I got born again. So it was a blessing. It was a, it was, it was a, a real blessing. Praise God. They never, never, never like where they are in life. Mm. They are not where they want to be, always complaining, yeah. always competing. That's oh, the yeah. world. Always fighting, always competing, yeah. you know, just like crawling on each other, pulling each other down instead of lifting someone up. Mm -hmm. And that's as Christians we're supposed to do, yeah. is see Christ yeah. in them and yeah. look through them with his love, with his compassion, and help people and help them up instead of pushing them down. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Always fighting, being negative, complaining, always wanting to be somewhere else or doing something else. Mm. <laughs> I know you've heard this before. Grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> well, guess what? A wise word for you. Grass is always green where you water it. Grass is green where you water it. Amen? So, water your grass. How am I going to water my grass? With the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yourself fed. Amen. Amen. Fed on the word. Yes. The meaning or the definition. When someone is not satisfied with their lot in life, uh -huh. always assume that there is are better things, other places, better jobs, better whatevers. The phrase summarized the human quality of always wanting wanting something different than what you have unhappy unsatisfied not un, uh, not blooming and not serving mm -hmm. when you're not happy and you're dissatisfied you know go for yourself best thing for you to do is have a visit with God yeah. <laughs> and talk to him amen renew your mind to the things of God right. and put all that behind you mm -hmm. you know uh, I've shared this many times but when you take your you got trash all over your house. Yeah. And you take it and you bring it to the dumpster and you leave it there. The Bible says that we are to cast all cares on him because he loves us. So when you take all your your cares, all your problems, anxieties, worries, whatever you have mm -hmm. that you're competing against or is coming against you, you bring it to him and you leave it there. Mm -hmm. You don't take it back and mm -hmm. you don't give him half or just some. He says, you, you cast it on him. Yes, Give it yes, to him. Yes, he says, I want it. You know why? Because I have qualified you. I have called you to do something. Mm -hmm. And you don't need all this extra weight. Mm -hmm. You don't need all these distractions. Mm -hmm. Give it to me so that you can fulfill what I've called you to do. Amen. Amen. And we're going to fulfill. Why? Because he says so. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when we follow what he says, when we follow what the word of God says, says the truth is going to set you free. I'm free to go and do what he's called me to be. And people not going to be satisfied. Family's not going to be satisfied. Friends are not going to be satisfied. Your enemies are not happy. Right. You need to have peace with, with yourself. You've got to have peace with Him as you serve and go for Him. Yes. Amen. Woo. Come on, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. What's smelling real good in you? <laughs> Blue where you're planted and water with the Word. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we wait till everything gets better before we smile. Or have a positive attitude. You know, the thing about attitude is you can't go, a bad attitude, you can't go anywhere without it. Amen? You cannot go anywhere. you got to change it before you go anywhere. So praise God. God bless you, brother. Amen. God bless where you are and put a positive winning attitude on a daily basis. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So, that smile you lost, put it back. Yes. And give your family a break. <laughs> Amen.
<laughs> you know, some of us are real good at frowning. As a matter of fact, if you're going to frown, why don't you just put your mask on? <laughs> you know, there's one thing about you. you can't tell what people are doing. I mean, you don't know if they're smiling or, or, or if they're frowning or sticking out their tongue at you. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so, you know what? Just, just, put, just put the mask on. No, we just just be happy yes. and put a smile on. Amen. And uh, thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna close with this. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. <laughs> Keep us. Um, yeah, that's where I, I wrote there. Smile attracts, frowns distract. Smile show and serve. Smile. If I smile for him and serve him with his love and compassion, amen. amen. Believers should be the happiest people on earth. Yes. Be uh, believers should have the best smiles. Yes. <laughs> Keep a smile on your face at all times. Be amen. kind, be good, even if they're not good That's and if right. they're not kind. That's right. That's be grateful of where you are, even if it's not where you want to be. Uh -huh. Amen. Remember Jesus? <laughs> Remember Joseph? Yes. You remember Paul? Yes. They still, Lord, I want to be the best wherever you put me. Yes. Right. And I'm going to fulfill what you call me to be. Yes. Because yes. that's where you planted me. That's where you want me. And I'm going to give you my best. Amen. And I'm going to do my best for you. Amen. Nothing in life happens to us, but it happens for us. Yes. When things happen to us, instead of getting a bad attitude, a negative attitude, or complaining, uh -huh. keep a positive smile. Yes. Always. Yes. Yeah. Our attitude should be, God, I may not like this, but I know I'm here in your divine plan. Yes. Amen. Yes. So you know what? Hey, I'm taking myself off the throne, putting God on the throne. All right. All right. <laughs> this may not be where I want to be, but I'm where you want me yes. to be. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to bloom the best I can for yes. you. Yes. And do the best I can for you. Amen. You would not have allowed it unless you would get some good out of it or yes. from it. It may not be feel good, but it allows me to grow. It allows me to be all you've created me to be. Yes. And uh, these uh, storms of life have caused me to mature, yes. have caused me to grow. And I'm understanding you. I'm understanding the, the Word of God better and better yes. on a daily basis. Amen. Yes. As I grow in Him. Amen. I'm going out and I'm seeing people the way he sees them yes. and allowing the love and compassion of God to serve his people. Amen. Amen. So we'll close, we'll close right there. And uh, I hope it blessed you. It blessed me. Amen. I can't yeah. see my socks, but it blessed my socks. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so praise God. Father, we thank you for your word. Just bless, Lord. Let us grow from it, Lord. And let us know that it is because of you that yes. we are where we are, Father God. And yes. we want to serve you right here where we are, yes. Lord. Yes. And grow and glow and go for you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Yes. Some of you, if uh, if you've never asked Jesus in your heart, this is now. This is the time. Yes. Just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. This is your time. This is your divine time. Yes. So don't waste that opportunity. It's time to make a change. Amen. It's time to make a change. If you need healing in your body, just touch that part of your body that's aching you, whatever it is. Say, Lord, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Body, receive your healing. Receive your healing now because Jesus paid the price. And by Jesus Christ, I am healed right now in Jesus' name. So body, line up with the word and be healed now in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God, praise God, praise God. I am happy. I don't know about you. But it's time to give. Those yeah. of you listening or watching here, uh, you want to give your tithe, your offerings, you still can. Just go to our website. It's on the screen. NBC, Big ben .com, and just hit that donate button. Or if you're mailing it, NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. And we just want to say, God bless, and we love you. Praise Amen. God. Amen.